You know the old joke about the summary of all Jewish history? They tried to kill us, we survived, let's eat. <laughs> Even if you've heard it a hundred times, it's still funny because in many ways it's true. Jews are often targets of hatred, violence, and xenophobia. And yet, and yet we are still here. Miraculously, we are still here. And we celebrate that with food. Whoever said food is love was probably Jewish, and more probably a Jewish mother. There is no way that you can practice Judaism religiously or culturally without food. Food has been intrinsic to Jewish life, to ritual and culture from the very beginning. At Temple Shalom, we all enjoy our opportunities to gather and to eat together. Be it during a Shabbat Oneg, a family Shabbat dinners, Shabbat Kiddush luncheons, and even today when we go, well, we're not going to go outside because it's raining, but into Sarah's tent in the chapel for apples and challah and honey, there is always something to nourish your body as well as your soul at Temple Shalom. And usually they're both sweet. In fact, so important is this idea that a synagogue should provide food that it's ingrained in Talmud, in the proverb, im ein kemach ein Torah, where there is no bread, there can be no Torah. The traditional prayer for the congregation found in Sidorim around the world invokes a blessing upon, quote, those who give funds for heat and light, wine for the Kiddush and Havdalah, and bread for the wayfarer and charity to the poor. Providing food with our Torah is a sacred act, but it's also expensive. Temple Shalom spends nearly $50,000 a year on challah, cookies, wine, Shabbat dinners, and Kiddush lunches. These opportunities to gather and eat together are an important and cherished thread in our social fabric. At the same time, the financial cost is significant, and it continues to grow and rise as our congregation grows as well. And so this year, we have established a new fund called the Half Shekel Fund to ensure we can continue to provide the sustenance that makes Temple Shalom such a welcoming and delicious place to belong. This initiative takes its inspiration from a very old Jewish tradition. When the temple stood in ancient Jerusalem, a yearly appeal was made, just like this one, to the community for money and resources to provide for the building's communal functions. In the Torah and Book of Exodus, it commands us, they shall give a half shekel, everyone, from adulthood and above as an offering to God. The rich shall not give more and the poor shall not give less than a half shekel. At that time, a half shekel was considered an amount that just about every person could afford. And in this manner, every Jew was equal, with an equal responsibility to provide for the temples and the community's needs. And so here is my appeal. Here's our appeal on behalf of all of us, because we all enjoy not only the food and the treats, but all that our community does. The food and the treats are just lubrication for the Torah and the learning, the meaning, the celebration, the comfort. This year, and hopefully for years to come, we are asking every adult member in our temple community, from the age of bar and bat mitzvah, from 13 and above, to contribute a modern half shekel, $54, to help defray the cost of our communal meals and gatherings. Our goal with this appeal is not the amount of money we raise, although that is important, as I've said. Rather, it's about participation, about everyone taking part in building and sustaining our community within the limits of our own abilities. After the holiday on Wednesday, you'll receive an email with a link for every adult member in your family to make a half shekel contribution online. And of course, you can always call the office or simply drop it off when you come back from Kol Nidre. I hope that parents will sit with their bar and bat mitzvah children as Sharon and I plan to do with ours and talk about tzedakah. Talk a bit about it as much as being a part of Jewish as lox and bagels is a part of being Jewish. That supporting the synagogue at whatever level we can is a mitzvah, a commandment. 
And making this contribution together with your children, we model for them what has been modeled for each of us so many times before. We support our synagogues because they support us. Shana Tova, a sweet new year. That wasn't the sermon. If you thought that was it, you're done. So. <laughs> you're like, five minutes, that's fantastic. If you'll all give, I'll skip the sermon and we can know. <laughs> our service continues with the third of our shofar services. We rise, page 279. We invite Sheldon and Fran Cole to join us on the Bimah. <laughs> 